Hi, this is Dr. Karthik Manchala. Today, let's discuss a small image based question for the NEET PG examination that is the Quantic Index. In the examination, you are given an image which shows a depiction of this. Now, to understand what a Quantic Index is, let's have a look at the flexors and extensors of the fingers. Coming to the flexors, there are two flexors of the finger that is flexor digitorum superficialis and flexor digitorum profundus. The superficialis attaches in the second phalanx whereas the profundus attaches at the distal phalanx. Looking at the nerve supply, the superficialis of all the four fingers is supplied by the median nerve whereas the profundus of the last two fingers is supplied by the ulnar nerve whereas the first two fingers it is by the median nerve. Coming to the extensors, it is supplied by the radial nerve. When there is a median nerve palsy, what happens? The superficialis of all the four fingers are paralyzed. That is, the flexion which is supposed to happen from the second phalanx is not happening in all the four fingers. Whereas, for the last two fingers, the digitorum profundus is still functioning because it is supplied by the ulna nerve. So, when the profundus is functioning, the flexion from the distal phalanx is happening. So these two fingers attain a posture of flexion. Now, there is domination of extensors in these two fingers. Therefore, the index finger takes a position of little extension, almost a position of pointing, whereas this middle finger is in a position of little flexion. The reason being, it does not have any flexors functioning but still it attains a posture of little flexion. The reason being it shares a common flexor sheet with the ring finger. That is the reason this attains a position of little flexion. So pointing index medium of palsy. This can be asked in a different forms also. Pointing index also called as benediction hand also called as Oshner's class test positive. Don't get confused. Answer well. Thank you.